took four days. And hint of one. We've got this floor wonderfully leveled. I'm not going to say perfectly, but pretty darn close. Got it wonderfully leveled, and hopefully that's good enough for tile. Let's find out. Katie, <laughs> I guess we'll find out. No, it's it's it. I we leveled it out really well. So we are going to put down our Ditra XL membrane now. So we're gonna mix up some, some thin set, put it down with a notch trowel, and lay the membrane over. over there. Spin. Good girl. Other way. Good girl. My measurements when we bought the Dietra membrane were way off. In fact, they were half as much as what we actually need. So Katie's gone to the hardware store to pick up another 26 feet of the Dietra membrane because I don't have anything for here and I don't have anything for here. Now, we weren't gonna do this originally, but if we're gonna buy it one more time, we may as well buy everything. So we measured one more time, but here's our problem right there. Not enough for today. So Katie's running to the hardware store. I'm gonna start mixing up thin set and installing, I guess. Okay, let's play a game of here goes nothing. I've got three and a half liters of water in here. This calls for seven liters of water for a whole bag. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mix half a bag in, mix that together, and I should be good. So I guess I gotta wait five minutes for it to slump and then give it another stir again and then I should be good to go. So I think I've got my consistency perfect, honestly. I'll find out right away when I lay my first bit down and if I can get, keep an edge on it when I run my notch trowel through, we should be good. At least that's what all the YouTube videos have been telling me. So it's nice and runny, but it's still hard enough that I can put it on a trowel. Let's get into it and see how it goes.
Okay, so I can tell I need to put a little bit more water in here. It go, I've got it down, I'm confident with what I put down, but it took a lot of pressure to saturate the mat underneath the Ditra. So I'm gonna throw a little bit more in here, just a little bit, and then mix it up. And that should be good if I add a little bit more to there. Well, we were a little bit short <clears throat> to finish the kitchen, so I ran into town and I bought more, and we were trying to think ahead and buy what we need for the bathroom and buy the wood stove, and I got the wrong, wrong stuff, so we are done for the night, I guess, because we don't, the store is closed now, and we don't have the right supplies. We will tile. Just have to go back tomorrow morning and get the rest that we need for the kitchen, but we're gonna start tiling the entryway and get that on the go. We are gonna be in really good shape because the tiles are 24 inches long and our area is 54 or 56. We're gonna have a stagger so, of a third stagger. So a third of 24 is, an, is eight. So it'll work perfect. There's literally no waste whatsoever. So We plan that, right Katie? No. Yes. <laughs> we haven't planned anything yet here. <laughs> right. Okay, we're gonna start getting these down. I think I'm gonna be putting the tiles down and Greg is gonna be cutting the edges, right? I'm gonna put the first tile down. Oh, you don't trust me? No. <laughs> okay. So we've got some porcelain tile. The color is bone. It's Italian. Very special. <laughs> uh, we've got 12 by 24 because apparently square tiles are outdated now, which I had no idea. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, they look really nice and I just can't wait to get this last section of subfloor covered up. It's gonna look so good. Ooh, Matt, you know, I don't know. I might need to go a little thicker with that. Thicker or thinner? Thicker. Like less water? More water. Sorry, thinner, what am I saying? Yeah, my bad. Let's see. Keep the child clean, Katie. I've already realized that that's a big gift. Mm, maybe not. Yeah, you certainly don't want to go too thick because we gotta 
what we got to do is we, we gotta, don't want this. We don't want the tile to be too high. No. It should line up perfectly. Out. 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 Good girl. Go on. Where'd you go? Stop being so freaking cute. Hi. Well, I think we're gonna call it a night. We uh, will have to go onto the tiles to get into the little closet area. So we're gonna leave them overnight and come back to it tomorrow morning. We're all out of the mortar in anyways. So it should be good to just start up first thing in the morning and then we'll get the right underlayment for the rest of the kitchen and we'll be able to knock that out as well. And uh, yeah. that'll feel good. Yeah, it's gonna be a good day. So we're gonna get some rest. Is that mortar all over me? <laughs> Uh, yeah, we're gonna get some rest and we will see you in the morning. You. Okay, so last night I got a pretty good handle on how to lay the tile. Uh, Katie got a good feel for it too. Um, we are not finishing this first because this really isn't holding us up from anything. We've got two doors, we can get in here and get it out of here. The most important thing is getting these things back in the kitchen because we don't really have a kitchen right now. Luckily we have the bus that we can cook stuff in but it's minus 10 in the bus right now so it's not, not an enjoyable experience and we want our kitchen back. So I've got the Dietra all installed in the, in the kitchen now and I'm going to start from this corner over here, that one, and just start laying in tile. I'm gonna get the first run laid in and then Katie's probably gonna take over because I'll have a whole bunch of cuts to do. So, 
Katie, let's get to work. Out, 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 out. You want a floof tail? What is it with dogs? You lay something out on the floor to walk on or whatever, and they just all flock to it to have a nap on it. <laughs> what a good girl. Juniper, no. No. Juniper. Good girl. Just on this one, we don't need to do two on the rest. Because mm. one will keep it spaced, the other two along the long side. We'll keep it level. Well, we had to put in our first cut tile and we realized it was too small. So we went to pull up the tile and it pulled up the Ditra that Greg just installed this morning. And now we're realizing that the Ditra didn't set, didn't attach to the subfloor. So we are pulling it all up and restarting. This is just a little bit runnier than what I had it this morning. It's just enough to leave a leave a mark. I mean, leave my notches in it. Try this again. Pretty sure that's what I had this morning, but obviously not. bag. All right, we've got these spots fixed up. We've pulled on the corners of the other pieces and they're stained. They're not, we're not able to pull them up. So I think that means we're okay. Hopefully that's okay. That's all I can say. <laughs> Stressful.
You getting tired, Katie? Yes. I'm hungry. You're doing it. Look. I'm hungry. We get get to put our kitchen back. In a few days. Two days. We've got just about the whole kitchen finished. The last row is gonna be angled, like we mentioned when we were installing the wood floor. So Greg is gonna go work on that now, getting those pieces cut. I'm gonna move over here to the door. We did this backwards, but we want our cut pieces to be under the bench and not in sight really. So I don't really know if there's a better way to do this. But anyways, uh, I'm gonna try and figure out how to work my way back from the wall out. Hopefully I can. <laughs> I guess we'll find out. Oh. Why is this piece significant, Katie? It's kind of the last one. We have a little piece in the corner that Greg's got cut, but I wanted him to film me, so. I am so ready to be done. Hey. Boy, we ain't done till we cleaned up, Katie. Uh-oh. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> it's very tight. Yeah, that's <laughs> the danger of working backwards like that. I'm gonna need some wedge thing. <laughs> you may push it. You got my feet here. Which way is it gotta go? Do we need wedges in it? It's certainly not level, that's for sure. Yeah, okay, then yes, we do have sands. Oh, I see. No. Seriously? Yeah. Is it right to the floor? Like, can, can we put the bottom side in first? For a break, man. Okay, I would stand on top of that one and surf it down, put the goop down on it. No way. Still not, eh? Okay, I'll trim it. I didn't real realize that it had to be trimmed that much. Don't fight it. Good push. <sighs> My knees hurt. My you back have, hurts. You have mud in your hair. Oh, well, we don't have hot water for two mm. more days, so. That's nice. Let's go get some dinner. Yeah. Let's... After we clean up, make sure the floor, the wood floor isn't ruined. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure it's fine. Newt, happy birthday! <laughs> your favorite! 14 today. Here's your regular dinner, no steak for you. Because I don't have any. Is it boy? Bubu, you're next! You're next! Are you excited? Juniper, on your bed. On your bed. On your bed. Lay down. Good girl. Okay, break. Oh, nudes! You're eyeing up the wrong bowl there, girlfriend. Well, it's been about 24 hours now. We have been busy cleaning up all of the joints, making sure they're ready for the grout. We've got all the spacers out, um, picked away at any of the extra mortar that was in there, and a couple vacuums, a couple wipe downs. So I think we're good to go with the grout. From the research I've been doing, Jeff from Renovision uh, said that we picked the hard grout to work with. So I think what we're gonna do is Greg will be putting the grout down and then I will follow behind him shortly after and start the cleanup process because it does set really fast. So we wanna get 
cleaned up before it permanently sets onto the whole tile. <laughs> we do not want that at all, I will right? Turn, I will turn into an instant expert. <laughs> yes. Make sure you've got two buckets of clean water. I do. Okay. One's bigger than the other. I'll so. go mix the mud. We went with white grout because that's just what I thought before we had installed these. I was kind of looking at these thinking the darkness between the tiles before it's even finished looks pretty nice, but I think we're just going to go with the white to keep it simple. Um, I have heard that dark grout is harder to work with, so yeah, we'll just keep it simple and or as simple as we can with the fast setting grout. I'm sure it'll look nice in the end. Spread immediately. Go, go, go. <laughs> Am I doing it right? Yeah, he had a bunch. He put a bunch on, like just slop it down and then use this and go this direction. I'm gonna get, get some bulk in there first. All right, I think that went pretty well. Uh, it's you gotta move fast. It looks okay so far. Uh, we gotta keep the dog out! Holy <laughs> nuts! <laughs> there it is, up banana. She's good again. She's deaf, so that's why we have to yell so aggressively loud. I'm gonna set up a barricade now, and we've got dinner cooking on the, or warming up on the wood stove, and yeah, hungry. Got one little section left over by the front door, so I'm just gonna keep going. You like the new floor, boy? You like it? Is it cold? All right, it is the next morning. Everything is looking really good in the kitchen and the front entry. We've pulled all the tape off from the edges of the wood floor, vacuumed up all the loose grout bits and stuff. 
Um, and now we need to get the stove back in so that we can make coffee. That's not funny at all. That's super bad. We put like two inches up. You gotta lower the things. No, I don't know if we can. Yeah, remember we had the top. We literally have to take these little spacers off. It's completely tight. We had, we put the wheel, the legs up a bunch. The wheels in the back are what's, we can't, we have to take the wheels in the back right off. How is that even possible? We added like two inches. That's so tight, it was tight. It was tight. Well, the fridge doesn't fit anymore. I don't know how that happened because when we adjusted everything, we added like two inches so that this fridge could fit. And there was a big space and somehow it just barely doesn't fit. So there's these little plastic bumper sort of things on the back, on the top corners. We're gonna, these are just sitting on the corner. Those are coming off, try and get that. We can try and lower the legs on the fridge a little bit. So fingers crossed. You know what would work really good underneath this? Capacitor. Capacitor. Hmm. How did I get you? back on in the future. I didn't break anything here. Pull that down towards, what is that? What am I hitting now? Oh my goodness, what a, sh what a schmozzle. so close how much we have to play with it's pretty tight now <laughs> we don't have to shim it because it's being like okay here's the thing we gotta get we want this to be the same as this. So, well, just. Okay, let's do this. Is
Okay, I'm gonna wiggle it back and forth. I want you just to just be my eyeballs. which I think is far enough, but it's not straight. Okay, keep going. Oh, that's good on that side. It's good on this side? Not quite. All right, we got the fridge in by taking the feet and the wheels off. We loosened up the one side of the cupboard because it was catching up there. I, we're assuming the floor is a little bit uneven because <laughs> when we put a level in the cupboard, it was dead on, so yeah, we've loosened up the cupboard and now we're gonna get that screwed back in, but it might not line up perfectly like it did before, which I think we can live with. <laughs> I think we can live with that. It's not the biggest deal and it's one of those things that you kind of forget about eventually and you don't really notice it anymore, so <laughs> I, hopefully, <laughs> anyways. But, um, Unless you're me. <laughs> <laughs> if you're building your house, leave a little bit extra yeah. room for your appliances because clearly the two inches that we thought would be enough was not. <laughs> Well, we are all done. We've got the kitchen back together. We managed to get the fridge in. We got the dishwasher in. It's screwed in properly, so it's no, no longer flopping out when you open the door. We've got our stove back in. We're fed, finally. <laughs> Proper meal. And we've got things looking pretty tidy in here. So we are going to wrap up the video here and we will catch you the next one. Bye.